Lately, I've been thinking a lot about the word tastemaker and specifically who gets to be a tastemaker. Typically, online, we view influencers as tastemakers, but lately, I've been feeling like the internet and social media have been flattening our taste over time. We succumb to the same trends over and over, and we watch influencers get sponsored by the same brands over and over. I was also inspired to make this video because of a Substack newsletter called Perfectly Imperfect, which offers a taste of someone else's taste. In the eyes of the Substack community, everyone is a tastemaker, and I really liked that perspective. So I wanted to start this monthly series where I tell you about things that I think are kind of cool. The first thing that I think is kind of cool is collecting books from your childhood. My childhood library has long been forgotten, disbanded, donated, or is deteriorating in the back of some storage closet at my parents' house. And so I have started to collect books from my childhood that brought me a lot of joy. Specifically, I started collecting a series of unfortunate events about three years ago, and I never buy these books online. I only go to secondhand bookshops to find these missing pieces. And it's almost like a treasure hunt. I love the giddy joy that I get when I find one of these books that I've been looking for, especially if I don't currently have it in my collection. And I believe I have five left until I have a completed series. So it's been quite healing. Next, I also think it's kind of cool if you invest in your education outside of university. Recently, I decided to take the plunge and invested in a course with I Love Creatives, which was co-created by my favorite creator, Rachel Nguyen of That's Chic. And so far, it's been a really amazing class. It's self-guided, which is nice, so I can invest time where I can in my busy schedule. But also, I feel it's given me a more pragmatic approach to creating, which has been super helpful, especially as I'm trying to grow this channel. So I really have been enjoying learning again as an adult, and I especially enjoy learning outside of the context of a, an institution or university. I think self-guided creation, self-guided education has been really cool for me, and hopefully it can be kind of cool for you. As a person who exists with anxiety, I found that sour candy often helps me get through the day if I'm feeling especially anxious, or if I'm out in public and I feel anxiety bubbling up, I will just pop a sour candy in my mouth and sometimes it helps just take a little bit of the edge off. I always have sour candy in my purse. It even helps if I'm like in between meals and I'm running around and just need something to satiate my growling stomach. And this has been my favorite so far. It's just the Muji Yuzu hard candy and it's really compact, doesn't take up a ton of space in my purse and it's definitely a lifesaver. I also exist as a person who has a lot of nausea, stomach aches and headaches. So I'm basically suffering most of the time. I'm just being really brave about it. And something that's helped me recently is just peppermint oil. So I always have this roll on peppermint oil in my purse. I rub it on my power, power points. I rub it on my pressure points, back of my neck, my wrists, under my nose, just so I can smell it. And it typically helps take away the nausea or headache or whatever I'm feeling that I need help from. Something else I think is kind of cool is making internet friends. I know our parents told us to be wary of strangers on the internet, but in my short-lived experience as a creator here on the internet, I have found such amazing people, other creators that really inspire me. And also our community here is just so kind. You guys leave the best comments on my videos and I really appreciate you taking the time to say nice things to me. It really means a lot and it really makes my day and makes me more more invigorated to make content for you. So I think making internet friends safely is very cool. And I really wanna thank you guys for being my internet friends. I think vintage silver charms are also kind of cool. I've been really fixated on building my vintage charm collection. So I'm wearing a few today and I've mostly turned to Etsy, independent jewelers, vintage resellers, things like that. But I have this one that I've recently just got. It's a little like spinnable charm that says I love you if you look really close. Do you see it? Okay, hopefully, hopefully you saw it, but vintage silver charms have been a favorite of mine in my jewelry collection and it's been really exciting to build 
thought collection and I hope to one day hand this down to my future child if I decide to have a child or a niece nephew or my best friend's child if she decides to have a child. I think it's just a great thing to collect and I've been having a lot of fun finding little treasures to add to my collection. The last thing to wrap up this installment of Kinda Cool is steampunk, just steampunk. I think steampunk and retro futurism is really cool and I think cities would be better if they incorporated more steampunk things. Trains, blimps, everyone should be wearing goggles. I think that would be really cool. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. This will be a monthly series, just a short digest of things that I think are kind of cool. And I would love to hear what you think is kind of cool. We can all influence each other. We can all be tastemakers. And I think our community here is really cool. So I would love to hear what you've been into recently. I would love to hear about what you've been reading, watching, listening to, what things you've been collecting, some niche hobbies of yours, anything Thing in that vein leave it in the comments down below but thank you for your time and attention it really means a lot to me and that's all peace and love see you guys next time bye